On the other hand, if we use the tangent definition, we can utilize all we know about trigonometry to get some other interesting results. Namely, the question that might come up is, can we study the slopes of two different lines very conveniently in terms of our definition of slope? And the answer is this. If we imagine now that our lines are drawn to scale here, and here are two different lines, which I'll call L1 and L2, and we'll call the angle that L1 makes with the positive x-axis phi1, the angle that L2 makes with the positive x-axis phi2, therefore what? M1 is tan phi1, M2 is tan phi2. Notice that our formula for the tangent of the difference of two angles, you see, notice that this angle here is what? Since this angle is the sum of these two, this angle here is uh, phi2 minus phi1, or the negative of phi1 minus phi2. Should have had this phi2 minus phi1, but since that just changes the sign, that will not have any bearing on the point I want to make. Let's continue this way. Tangent of phi1 minus phi2 is tan phi1 minus tan phi2 over 1 plus tan phi1 tan phi2. On the other hand, by our definitions of m1 and m2, this is m1 minus m2 over 1 plus m1 m2. <coughs> Excuse me. Now this tells me how to find the angle between two lines just in terms of knowing their slope. Two very special interesting cases as extremes suggest themselves right away. One case is what happens if the lines are parallel? If the lines are parallel, you see, phi1 equals phi2, in which case phi1 minus phi2 is 0, in which case the tangent of phi1 minus phi2 had better be 0. But the only way a fraction can be 0 is for the numerator to be 0. And that means that m1 must equal m2. In other words, in terms of slopes, we can study parallel lines just by equating their slopes. A less obvious relationship that's equally important is, how do you measure whether two lines are perpendicular? The answer is, if they're perpendicular, the angle between them is 90 degrees. The tangent of 90 degrees is infinity, as we learned. That's equivalent to saying what? That the denominator is 0. See, the only way a fraction blows up is for the denominator to be 0. But the only way that 1 plus m1, m2 can be 0 is for what? m1, m2 to be equal to minus 1. And this gives us the other very well-known result that in terms of slopes, to study whether two lines are perpendicular, all we need to investigate is whether one slope is the negative reciprocal of the other.